Hey everybody, Danielle Agnew here, coming to you. It's February 22nd, and it's about a quarter to two o'clock here, mountain time. Of course, I'm in Montana, and I'm coming to you because in about 15 minutes, there is going to be removal of the water protectors from the Standing Rock camp. And I wanna to come to you with a message today because I am feeling so heavily this sickening blanket of despair that is just settling over this area and it's settling over the country. You know, here in Montana, we're right next to the Dakotas, okay? So we feel a lot of that energy that comes down the pike as well as the rest of the nation, obviously. Yet this is so heavy that I'm, I'm actually really having a hard time speaking, so forgive me if I'm stammering just a little bit. I'm usually a touch uh, more well-spoken today. Yet this feeling of sorrow, this feeling of demoralization is so incredible incredibly heavy and what I wish to convey to everybody right now is that this isn't over it's not about a pipeline this is about a conscious a lack of conscience okay a consciencelessness that is being shown from the highest points of office from our country and I know there's a lot of you out there that say, well, wait a second, we need jobs. I am not addressing the fact that we need jobs. I'm talking about something else. I'm talking about a spiritual perspective. Either you will understand that or you won't. It's fine if you don't. But for those of you that do, we have a lack of conscience that is showing its face right now in the nation. And what I would implore all of you to do is to not react with violence and anger. Yes, anger is a normal response to watching people get walked all over. Anger is a normal response to watching the earth be torn up and absolutely raped and disregarded. Yes, it's natural. Yet as we invoke the law of love, what we do is we create a strong center in the self that enables us to make choices from a place within the self that's coming from a healing perspective rather than a, I'm going to fight fire with fire. Well, hello, you can't fight fire with fire. You fight fire with water. It takes a separate element to go in and destroy the fear that is actually ripping apart a lot of our culture. Culture. culture okay what's going on at Standing Rock right now is is very indicative of what's going on in the United States now just for the record the Standing Rock Sioux tribe has asked all of those water protectors to please leave they're gonna clear it out we're gonna handle this in court we're gonna keep on fighting so the Standing Rock Sioux have respectfully asked people to leave also for their own safety now what y'all don't know do not live in this Rocky Mountain corridor may not know is that that area is under about a foot of mud right now. So it's very difficult to get those huts and those yurts out of there. So the folks who are over there have set these these teepees and these yurts on fire, partially to get them out of the way because they're going to bulldoze them. Part of that also has to do with some native traditions of, of not just relocating, but taking that energy back down to the ground. Long story, I'm not going to kill the video's time with it. However, what we're going to be hearing is a lot of disparaging, interesting news about Standing Rock. And as somebody who has Lakota heritage in my background, it really chaps my hide when I hear people talk out the side of their mouth. I don't really know what's going on over there. We see pictures of garbage. People are like, oh yeah, it's garbage. Oh yeah, people are suffering. We have no idea to know what's actually happening because the media is not even allowed to cover it and hasn't been for quite a while and we've only had little snips. So, you know, let's actually, before we make judgments about that area, invoke the law of love. Send love. And please, folks, because I am receiving so much email about this, please, please know that this fight for the earth is far from over. The fight for equality for people is far from over. We're going to be seeing some things in the United States that are going to look kind of scary out there in the next few weeks, okay? We're going to see some actions that don't really recognize, we're not going to recognize that kind of sociopathic strange pen stroke coming down from the top administratively in the United States. Yet, hear this, please. Invoke the law of love. As we lead forward, we, the people, hold the power in this country. We, the people, direct it. We, the people, fund this nation with our taxes. We, the people, are the heartbeat and direction of this nation. And if we don't direct from the heart, then we are no better than the folks at the top who want to tear everything down because of that sociopathic business system that needs to feed the bottom line. I will tell you something, the future holds jobs for everyone. And it doesn't mean that we have to cash in the earth. 
The future holds money for everyone. And it doesn't mean that just a few people get that money and the rest of us just stand around going, okay, well, whatever. There is enough to go around. That is the consciousness that we were stepping into. And we cannot step into that consciousness at all without invoking the law of love first. So please embody this, embrace it, stand in the gap for what you believe in, bring your activism forward if that's what you're called to do. If you're a warrior, go for it, lead with love. If you are a prayer, go for it, lead with love. If you are a teacher, go for it, lead with love. We lead, we lead, we lead with love. And the minute we stop doing that, gang, we become exactly the same as the sociopathic business system that is on that dying vine, screaming and crying as it falls off the cliff into the abyss of the old world. So please, as many of us are feeling this deep despair, and no, it's not about a pipeline, as we feel this deep despair across the nation, send love. We got this. We the people have this. It doesn't matter who you voted for. What matters is who you are and what you bring to the world every day. Invoke the law of love. Lead with that strength. And the rest, the rest of this is going to fall into place. Because spoiler alert, there's a lot more coming. We can do this. Now go be strong, not angry.